Hi, this is Erica the Goober. I am a freelance illustrator and character designer. In this video, me and Marley will be giving you a little tour around my art studio. First of all, before I put everything away, I'm going to show you how crazy it gets in my office when I have video equipment set up. Here's where I recorded the intro to the video and I have just this mess of um, tripod and lights over here with a ton of cords. Both of these lights uh, came in one pack on Amazon. They work really well for studio lighting, even in a small space. I'm going to take all these out and you guys can see what my studio looks like on a normal day. I am going to take you guys inside my office. This is where I spend most of my time really because I am freelance and I work from home. So here we go. First, I am going to show you my day-to-day -day setup for creating illustrations. This is where I sit over here in the corner. This is what my typical setup looks like while I'm working. I'll have my iPad out just so I can maybe do some warm up sketching on it and then I will usually switch over to Photoshop CS6. Typically I'll finish most of my bigger illustrations on Photoshop with my Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. I've had this tablet four years now and I got it at the same time as this computer. This is a 2015 iMac. It's my favorite computer I've ever had. My previous two computers crashed on me, so let's uh, keep our fingers crossed that this one can hold out for us. So here's my current live stream setup. I have my tablet here, and I have my microphone with my pop filter. It's the Audio-Technica microphone. And then I have over here this um, necklace holder that I just use as decoration, but I put my webcam on this little tripod thing. Looks like a guardian from Zelda though. I have it set up at the perfect angle so I can talk to you guys and you can always see Marley, who's usually sleeping. Marley cam, it's Marley cam, whoa. This is Marley's everyday life. Hi baby. Are you a good boy today? Yes. This is the office chair that I just got recently. It's an Ewin racing chair. Um, I like it so far. It's very comfortable. My last chair was hurting my back pretty badly. And this has like pretty good cushion on the seat and it's got lower back support that you can move around. It's been nice to my back so far. I wanna show you guys my fan. It's wonderful. I had one light bulb, one in my ceiling, and then my lovely Patreon supporters. They helped me buy a fan and it has three lights. It has three. Oh, it's so much brighter in here and there's a nice little breeze. Thank you. I also like having a desk lamp over here in my workspace. It's really nice when I want to cut paper so I have a nice bright surface to work on. I just recently set up these lights on my desk. I have this little remote so I have to point it like this to change this one and then over here to change that one. There's a bunch of different colors. All right, lights out. We're going to try the fade. Oh, I did both of them. This is new. Oh my gosh. You saw it here first. It's working finally. Oh, no, no, never mind. I messed it up. Ah, no, no. When I was planning everything for my office, I didn't really know like what I wanted it to look like originally. And I was having a really hard time finding a desk. I remember looking at a bunch of YouTube videos and I could not find a good setup that I wanted. People wouldn't tell you where their desk was from. And it's like, I, I want to know that because I might want to get one. It's like, if you like their setup, you might want to do the same thing. So yeah, I'm going to talk about my desk. Ah, just broke part of my selfie stick. Ready? Nope. This bad boy right here is from Ikea and it doesn't come in one solid piece. It is multiple pieces. So I will write that in the description exactly what the names are because um, I don't remember exactly what they're called and I probably could not pronounce them if I tried, except for these. I think these 
This is called an Alex drawer. I bought two of these. So I have this one and then I have this one. So those are my two um, bases on the side. And then I have this big tabletop and a smaller tabletop. To keep these from falling, we have one, two, three support posts. And then we're gonna get on the floor and we're gonna crawl. And then we're gonna look. And this is where our fourth one was, but you know, it's right here. I was hitting my legs on this thing, so I had to figure out a, another solution. And my dad helped me put this thing right here. This is awesome. It keeps these two pieces together so the desk does not fall. You can get one of these like little bracket things from a hardware store. I did not get this from Ikea. One thing I really like about these drawers is all the storage space. There are one, two, three, four, five drawers in each and they are different sizes. So you have two smaller ones and three large ones. I try to keep my drawers pretty organized since it is a lot of space and it can get pretty messy. That being said, not all of them are, but I will show you kind of what I did to help keep my stuff in order. Here we go. All right, so my first drawer, pretty much junk um, other than my planner and I usually keep my iPad in there. I also have my glasses. This is where I keep all of my stickers and I have prints that weren't the right colors. Here are some of the Etsy stickers that I currently have in my shop. Um, but I, I got these like little tray things on Amazon. Also in this drawer, I have my washi tape, which I absolutely love and I love using it when I'm packaging orders. On to the next one. This is my print hoard. I have a ton of prints. All of these are up in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link below if you want to check out the prints that I have on there. This drawer is my miscellaneous craft supply drawer. I use this to cut my prints when I print stuff at home for Patreon. And lastly in this tower is um, miscellaneous junk. Um, there's some CDs in here, a fan. Let's see if this works. Yes, this is for a GoPro so it doesn't sink. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this flash drive forever. Okay, so tower number two, we have, oh, the scary drawer, more junk. This one has gloves. This is my compression glove, so my hands um, don't hurt when I'm drawing. I don't wear them all the time, but they help. They are Vive compression gloves, but here's one glove. Who knows where the other one is supposed to be in here. And here is my wrist brace, but normally I put my tablet in this drawer because it fits perfectly in here. Oh, I love it. Here I have some traditional supplies. Um, I have markers in there, lots of colored pencils, a battery, a single battery. I love this pencil case. I ordered it from Amazon. And of course I like to organize everything by colors. Oh, it's an old calendar. It's got Miley on it. Miscellaneous pins, yay. Lastly, we have recording equipment. Sweet. I do have a closet, but um, it's a little bit uh, messy. I have a um, diva Halloween costume that I've cosplayed in before. Here's all my shipping materials for my Etsy shop. Just have different sizes and there's stickers for Patreon. I have various like art supplies down here. Some paint, even more craft things, camera equipment, just all kinds of stuff. No more of this mess. It's really nice having a full length mirror in an office because if I'm having trouble drawing a pose, I can just come over here and do whatever. Do you want to tell everybody what you did to the mirror? Did you sneeze on it? I didn't clean the mirror on purpose because I want you to see a lot of sneeze marks. He sneezes a lot. I can't keep it clean. So here is the printer I use. It's the Canon Pro 10. It works pretty well. It makes some nice prints. The only bad thing is it um, uses a lot of ink and the ink is very expensive. This machine over here is called a Cricut. I always have people ask me about this when I have any kind of pictures of my office on Instagram, but this is a smart cutter, so I connect it to my computer and it opens up like a cool robot thing. And this thing will move back and forth and the blade will like turn so it cuts out 
uh, paper for you just based on the design that you make on the computer. Here's an example of one of the stickers I cut with the Cricut. And here we have my little art wall that I am slowly but surely adding to. I got these gold grids from Target and they're super nice because you can move your art around all the time instead of just having it in one place on the wall. This is my plant. I don't remember what kind it is, but I guess it's doing okay because it's not dead yet. I usually name my plants, but this one does not have a name yet. If you have any name suggestions, you should drop them below in the comments. There's only one rule, it can't be Tobias or Reggie because I have two succulents with those names. So please help me name this little one. Here is my bookshelf that I also got from Ikea. And it's nice because they have different baskets that you can buy and use them for storage, which this one is leftover sticker paper that I am too cheap to throw away. Let's see this one. This one has painting supplies of all kinds. We have some nail polish, some watercolors. Like I said, some of my stuff is organized. And some of it really isn't. Thank you guys for joining me on the floor. Nice to have you here with me. We're gonna do a little mini tour of my bookshelf because I have a ton of art books and then I have some ooh, some really old sketchbooks down there. I try to keep my art books organized into three sections. I have my video game concept art books. I have some concept art books for animated movies and a few from different illustrators. Plus I have some character design quarterly magazines, which these are really great. If you don't have any of these, you should definitely try to order one. They're really helpful. These books are more about learning and um, kind of studying. This one is one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. Um, I do have a Game Informer here. Oh, this is, okay. I got one of my drawings published in Game Informer. I got second place, Erica Hunter. We wouldn't mind seeing a Disney created Zelda movie in this art style. This was from 2014 or 2015. So these are my concept art books for video games. I especially love the Art of Overwatch book. It's a really big book and it's got a lot of um, character development. And of course, here's my diva headset for my cosplay in my closet. It's not the most comfortable thing. No cushion. Ooh. I feel like I'm breaking it every time I take it off. Oh, no, I did break it. Dang it. Oh no, my head's too big. Look, it's cracked. Dang it. And now onto the movies. It's so hard to choose which one is my favorite. I think, oh, I love the Tangled one so much. It's wonderful. My favorite art books of all time are of course, Loish's art books. I love them so much. They are full of valuable information and absolutely beautiful illustrations. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have these like little tray things. They like sit. These are also from Ikea. They're great for holding paper. So if you have like a printer in your office, these are great to hold all your different kinds of paper. And here we have all of my sketchbooks from over the years. Oh, here's, this one's my current one. These were my sketchbooks from first grade. I guess they were kind of more uh, journal type books from when I was seven. I called this one my life journal. This book is a uh, pretty interesting. Um, I, I really, really like Pokemon. I have a Pikachu shirt on in here. I have a Pikachu with a pancake head. I have another Pikachu. Here's a, a chicken with a buzz cut. This one, October 3rd, 2000. I like Pokemon. Pikachu is now part of the um, Disney universe. Oh, what do you know? Another Pikachu. That one, there's another one, but the crayon wasn't sharp and the face looks like a dinosaur. June 2nd, 2001. A beautiful sunset with the Pikachu. Harley, come here. Do you want to see a picture of yourself that I drew? Do you want to see a picture of yourself that I drew for you? It was when you were a baby and I couldn't see your face. Kind of like now because you need a haircut. Come here. Come on, Shuggy. Oh my goodness. He's rude. He's rude. He doesn't want to see what I made for him. You don't want to see what I made for you? He's slowly making his way. He's going to make his way over. 
Baby, where are you going? Huh? I will bring it to you. Marley, do you want to see something I drew for you when you were a baby? Say yes. Do you want to? Yes. Here's Marley, because he had so much hair on his head. You couldn't even see his eyes. And then I did it on the computer. 2009. I have a bunch of sketchbooks, but I'm not going to go through all of them here, obviously, because there's a lot of pages and a lot of books. So I'm just going to have to save that for another video. And that's pretty much my studio. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. If you're looking to add a art studio to your own home, I hope my video helped you out a little bit just by seeing how I set up my space and what kind of works for me. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more art videos like this one, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. A lot of my equipment that I use in my office was bought because of your guys' support, including my microphone I use on my live streams, my video editing software that I'm editing this video with, and my new light fixture and fan. So I cannot thank you enough. It has helped me so much. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and supporting my illustration work. I seriously could not do all this without you guys. Well, that's uh, pretty much it. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.